Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Cubby's Mixed Up Map. Ahoy, mateys. Do you want to join Jake's pirate crew? Then just say the pirate password, yo ho ho. As part of the crew, you'll need to learn the Neverland Pirate Pledge. Today's pirate pledge, a pirate always trusts his friends. Every pirate in Neverland knows the legend of the Golden Dinghy. The Golden Dinghy was not the strongest ship ever to sail the seas. It was not the biggest boat ever to blow through the bays. But it was more valuable than any other vessel. I heard that it was made out of pure solid gold, Jake says. Then how can it float, Izzy asks. Isn't it too heavy? No one knows, Jake replies. It must be enchanted, Izzy says. I think it is, says Jake. They say it can weather any storm and will never, ever tip over. Crackers, squawks Scully. Captain Hook, hiding in a nearby shipwreck, hears everything Jake and the crew say. We would be the richest pirates in Neverland if we had the golden dinghy, Hook whispers to his crew. We should find it, Mr. Smee whispers back. Of course we should, Captain Hook snickers. That's why we're hiding here. Mr. Smee, Sharky, and Bones look confused. They don't know about Captain Hook's plan yet. Every pirate in Neverland knows just who to go to for help finding something. Cubby is not the biggest boy ever to bail out a boat. He's not the manliest mate ever to maneuver the masts. But he can make a map better than any other pirate. Did someone say Golden Dinghy? Cubby asks his friends. Check it out, mateys. Look at my new map of hidden treasures. Golden Dinghy! Jake, Izzy, and Scully shout as they look at Cubby's map. Golden Dinghy, Captain Hook and Mr. Smee whisper to each other. My map says we just follow this trail over Pipe Organ Plain, through Monkey Jungle, to Thumbs Up Rock, where we'll find the Golden Dinghy. Jake grabs his sword. Cubby holds up the map. Izzy checks her pouch of pixie dust. She can use it to fly, but only in emergencies. Follow me, mateys. The trail to the golden dinghy is this way, Cubby cries. Too bad you don't have a map like Cubby there, Captain, says Bones. Captain Hook gasps. Bones, you are a genius. I am, Bones asks disbelievingly. Captain Hook begins to explain his sly plan. He asks Sharky to draw a map that looks like Cubby's map, but with a few small changes. We'll trick those puny pirates, Hook tells his crew. Cubby is leading Jake, Izzy, and Scully through the woods, when suddenly they turn a corner and bump right into Captain Hook. Oof! Cubby says, as his map flies from his hand. Hook plucks the map from midair and puts his hands behind his back. A thousand pardons, puny pirates, Hook apologizes. I really must learn to watch where I'm going. Still holding Cubby's map behind his back, Hook offers the fake map to Cubby. We're off on a treasure hunt, Captain Hook, Jake tells him. Want to join us? Thank you, but no, Hook replies. Meself and me crew are off on our own little treasure hunt. Ta-ta for now. Come on, mateys, Cubby says cheerfully. My map says we should pass by Cuckoo Rock. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! A bird calls from on top of the rock. The pirate friends know they aren't in the right place but they circle around the rock and follow Cubby down the path anyway. Cubby studies his map carefully, but something doesn't seem right. 
Um, uh, we should go this way, says Cubby. I guess. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! A bird calls from on top of the rock. Jake and Izzy are worried. Cubby always knows the way to go, and now he's leading them in circles. We're lost, Cubby cries. Hook leads his crew to Pipe Organ Plain, where the steam from Belch Mountain pumps huge pillars of rock up and down. This blasted map offers no instructions for how to get across, Captain Hook complains. Run! Hook orders his crew. They zig and zag through the pillars, but they're not quick enough to make it all the way across the plain. The crew get launched into the air as an enormous pillar jets up underneath their feet. Whoa! The pirates yell. The third time around Cuckoo Rock, Cubby knows he needs to look beyond the map to find the golden dinghy. If I can just get up high and look around, I might be able to figure out where we are, he says to his friends. We can look around from up on top of Cuckoo Rock, Scully suggests. Cubby scoots up Cuckoo Rock. Jake and Izzy are right behind him, and Scully flies up too. Look, Cubby calls, it's Skull Rock. I know that's on my map. But when Cubby looks at his map, Skull Rock is nowhere to be found. That's when he realizes that he wasn't following the map wrong. He was following the wrong map. It's a fake. And Jake knows just who switched the maps. Hook. I remember two landmarks on my own map, Cubby says. Cubby turns the fake map over and draws an outline of Neverland. He draws a musical note to represent Pipe Organ Plain, the first landmark he remembers. Then he draws a banana for the second landmark, Monkey Jungle. Hook has to pass both these places on his way to Thumbs Up Rock. That's where the treasure is, Cubby tells his friends. Jake compliments his friend. Cubby, you're so good with maps, you can even draw your own and still get us to where we want to go. Ah, it's nothing, says Cubby. Cubby, Jake, Izzy, and Scully race down Cuckoo Rock, through Pipe Organ Plain, and up a rocky trail. In the distance, Cubby hears screeching high in the trees. That sounds like monkey jungle says Cubby. And that sounds like the monkeys took Cubby's map, says Izzy, hearing Captain Hook arguing with the monkeys. Let's get that real map back, calls Jake. Cubby laughs when he sees Hook perched on a palm branch and a monkey dangling the map just out of reach. That gives Cubby an idea. He tosses two bananas to the monkey. When the monkey grabs the bananas, he throws the map to Cubby. Here's your map, Captain Hook, Cubby shouts, throwing the fake map to him. Captain Hook thinks all his golden hopes are dashed until he turns the fake map over and sees Cubby's sketch. That Poppin' Jay Cubby is talented, says Hook. He's shown me where the treasure is. The captain and his crew arrive at Thumbs Up Rock just a few steps behind Jake, Izzy, and Cubby. Here we are, mateys, Cubby cheers. My good old real map says the treasure is... Out of me way, Poppin' Jays, Captain Hook calls as he rushes by. I found it, Captain Hook shouts. I found... Hook pulls aside some bushes and reveals the treasure. An ugly old brown wreck, he says, disappointed. It looks like the legend of the golden dinghy was just a made-up story after all. Captain Hook and his crew storm off. Can Hook be right? Cubby wonders. 
is my map no good? But Jake trusts his friend and his map. He takes his sword and scrapes it across the side of the dinghy, uncovering a gleaming golden surface. The golden dinghy! Izzy, Cubby, and Scully shout. Jake, Cubby, and Izzy are busy polishing the golden dinghy when they hear Captain Hook's cries in the distance. Help! The Never Falls! Hook yells. In a flash, Izzy jumps into the dinghy with her friends and sprinkles pixie dust on it. Pixie dust away! She calls, and the legendary boat rises into the air. Captain Hook and his crew are just about to head over the roaring waterfall when, just in the nick of time, the golden dinghy arrives and scoops them out of the air. I'm, I'm alive, Captain Hook says disbelievingly. And riding in a golden dinghy? That's right, Jake replies. Cubby's map led us right to it. And from now on, whenever pirates tell the legend of the golden dinghy, they will include the most important part of the story. Cubby, the legendary map maker.